Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. We'll rejoice and be glad in it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. <clears throat> it's a beautiful day. It's an awesome day. It's a great day. A day to connect and to receive from God. Welcome to this altar called the Morning Glow. It's an altar of breakthrough. It's an altar of testimony. It's an altar of change. It's an altar of turnaround. And by the word that the Lord gave yesterday at the first day of the revival fires, it's an altar of loud testimonies. Heavenly Father, we worship, we praise you, we magnify you. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. You are a good God, you are an awesome God, you are a powerful God, you are a great God. We are ready, O oh God, for our loud testimony. For you have already stretched your hand. Nothing can stop you. Take the glory, praise, honor, and adoration. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. We'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us today on Morning Glow. We trust the Lord that today you will be blessed. <clears throat> your life will never be the same. And uh, you'll be healed, you'll be delivered, you'll be set free. Joy will be released to your life. Favor will be released to your life. Testimony will follow you in the name of Jesus. We welcome you from the east, the west, the north, the south of the world. Please take the time to like and subscribe. Take the time to invite somebody to be part of Morning Glow today. Send them the link. Let them be blessed. Let them be favored. Let them be victorious. Let them be lifted. We bless the Lord today. We trust the Lord that wherever you are, the testimony of Jesus will be so mightily awesome in your life. The testimony of Jesus will be so great in your life. In Jesus' name. <clears throat> Let us know where you are joining from so we can celebrate you. Appreciate you and thank God for you and bless the Lord for you. Uh, pig Farm Accra. God bless you. Just drove through Accra on Monday and on Wednesday. The Lord bless you richly. Praise the Lord. Uh, glory to God. Nayabosha. Workshop. Blessings of the Lord on your life. In the name of Jesus, Nebo Kayen de Riba Ledo Doza, Naye Kabon Dero Ke Pokwasi Accra Ghana. God bless you this morning. Burton, Michigan. God bless you this morning. May you be highly favored in the name of Jesus. Catford, Southeast London, Haringey, North London. The Lord bless you. Bromley, Lucian, London. The Lord bless you this morning. May you be favored, may you be lifted, may you be victorious. Nali Bakozo Ye Dali Kadedada. There is a testimony coming to your life. Nobody can stop it. In the name of Jesus. There is an outstretching of the hand of God coming to your life. No one can stop it in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare this morning that. There will be victory in your life. There will be favor in your life. There will be blessing in your life. There will be glory in your life. Nothing can stop it in the name of Jesus. Mabo shayadi rako zoro kayada na ke koko so kayata lere kaba nebo Camden Town, North London. Blessings on you. Pretoria, South Africa, Sao Bona Gunjani. God bless you this morning. Kidbrook in London, blessings. Tall Seal, Southwest London. The Lord bless you richly today. I saw Silanti, Michigan, blessings on you. I saw uh, the lady called Amsterdam in Cape Town, Sao Bona. God bless you. Uh, these are some of the people who are on, on the platform every day. May the blessings of God rest on you. Eton in France, Dieu vous bénisse. Blessings on you today. Hertfordshire, blessings are uh, born to you. Uh, 
I think that is mighty in KICC South Africa. Blessings. Eden Gardens, Lekki, Nigeria. God bless you richly this morning. God bless you, Saubona, Gugu. Uh, may you be blessed. Tim Smith, London. Blessings, Dundee in Scotland. I thought Dundee is in uh, Ireland. Really? Hey, need to correct that geography. God bless you this morning. Southampton, Hampshire, God bless you. Charlotte, North Carolina, may you be blessed and favored. In the mighty name of Jesus, Mamelodi, South Africa, Saubona, may you be blessed this morning. May you be favored this morning. May you be lifted. Or Doom City in Abia State, Nigeria. God bless you. May you be favored and blessed today and lifted. Port Harcourt, Nigeria. Blessings. Uh, hot, hot sports in West Sussex. I did not. I didn't see the name of the city very well. God bless you. Whoa, Dundee is the fourth largest city in Scotland. Why did I put Dundee in Scot in Ireland in my head? All right, been to Birmingham, been, no, no, been to Scotland and Aberdeen and Falkirk. I don't know why I put Dundee. Uh, blessings of the Lord on your life today in the name of Jesus. I saw somebody write their testimony. Bless the Lord for your testimony. Please make sure you send it in in full detail so we can share it in December when we're taking testimony. We might take testimony earlier than that. Denver, Colorado. The Lord bless you this morning. May you be highly favored. Stratford, London. Blessings on you. Madina, Ghana. Blessings. Bo. Bo, Bo, I don't know how to call his name in the Cameroon, but I'll call it like it's French. Bo in Cameroon. God bless you richly. The Ovu Benis. Ron Fontaine in west of Johannesburg. Saubona. God bless you. Another one from East Pretoria. Saubona. May you be blessed and favored today. <clears throat> In the name of the Lord Jesus. Payara Rosha, Kedeba, Kodora, Parede, Taloro, Marero, Zande, Zande, Kuzondi, Raba, Camberwell. Blessings of the Lord on your life. Neshkaya Dabado, Kempton Park, South Africa. Blessings of the Lord on your life. Stratford Village, Olympic Village. In London, blessings. Queens in New York, the Lord bless you today. Coventry, God bless you richly today. Uh, Fort Almer in the Netherlands, be blessed and highly favored this morning in the name of Jesus. Sacramento, California, may you be highly favored today. And Tebe in Uganda, blessings. Atlanta, Georgia, blessings. Praise the Lord. Glasgow in Scotland. Blessings of the Lord on you. We had somebody come all the way from Cardiff, Scotland, I mean, Wales, to the meeting yesterday. Blessings on you. In Jesus' name. K-I-C-C, Kuta. The Lord bless you richly this morning. May the Lord strengthen you. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. I went to K-I-C-C, Kuta, Nigeria. I need to visit. Bangalore in India. The Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, the Lord enrich your life. The Lord favor you this morning. Kuzalaya. We'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed and your life will never be the same in the mighty name of Jesus. When God decides to lift you, Nobody can stop you. God decides to lift you. Nobody can lift. Nobody can hold you down. When God says there is a lifting, when men go see, when men say there is a casting down, God Himself will say there is a lifting. 
And when God says there is a lift in, every effort of hell will not work in the name of Jesus. The lifting of God means that every attempt of hell to put you down will not work. This morning I believe God has somebody on this platform. Heaven is lifting you. Hell is being put to shame. Heaven is lifting you. Hell has lost its power. Heaven is lifting you. Hell can do nothing. In the name of Jesus, may you be lifted. May you be victorious. May you be above only. We see of Jesus that for his lifting, Jesus first went the opposite direction. Philippians chapter 2 says he made himself of no reputation. That's the first thing people protect. But Jesus gave it up. Made himself of no reputation. Then number two, he became a bond servant of God. The Bible says he took upon himself the form of a servant. Remember, he is co-equal with God. He is co-existent with God. He is co-eternal with God. Yet, he humbled himself and took the bond, the bond form of his servant. Then the Bible tells us that he humbled himself. A. We live in the world of arrogance. Satan is a spirit of arrogance. But Jesus is Lord. And in order for him to show his, his submission to the Father, he took on humility. He became humble. And after he became humble, he, he, the Bible says he learned obedience. Obedience is a fast way to provoke the favor of God. When we obey God, we show our loyalty and our commitment to God. So when we obey God, we prepare ourselves to receive from what God has for us. Divine lifting is the benefit of the children of God. Divine lifting is the food of the children. When God wants to lift you, nothing can stop. But you can stop yourself. So in order to be lifted, you need to do what others have done in the Bible. You've got to learn how to do what God have, what people have done in the Bible. When you do it, there will be a lifting. There will be a favoring. The Bible says the angel came to the mother of Jesus and said, Greetings to you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Luke chapter 1 verse 28. Mary was shocked. It is all obvious that she was like 16 years old. She knew that prophecy. That one day a woman of the tribe of Judah will carry the Savior that has been promised in Genesis 3.15. But for her, 16 year old girl, her, what did she do to qualify? It was a favor of the Lord. Hallelujah. When a person's lifting comes, God will break through. God will even make nature to speak a prophecy concerning you. Exodus 3 verse 1 and 2. When the day of lifting came for Moses, there was fire on the grass and it was not consuming. Nature was operating contrary to how it used to. To capture the, to the mind. Naya! That all say to capture the mind of the young of the man called Moses and Moses had to turn around to see there's somebody on the altar today God is capturing your mind to let you know that he is lifting you so when that season comes boom there will be a visitation by a divine lifting after fasting and praying Cornelius was visited by an angel. Acts chapter 10 verse 4 to 6. The angel said to him, Your prayers and your arms have come up for a memorial before God. Now send men to Joppa and send for Simon whose surname is Peter. He's lodging with Simon, a tanner, whose house is by the sea. 
He will tell you what you must do. Aleborosha, Kayerererara. Cornelius acted at once on what the angel said. Consequently, Peter visited Cornelius' house. Power of God came. Everyone was baptized with the Holy Ghost. Cornelius, the man who had been waiting on God before the fullness of time, became the first person to experience the baptism of the Holy Ghost from the Gentile rich, from Gentiles. Everyone who received the Holy Ghost on the day of Pentecost were Jews. So he was in the house of Cornelius, a Roman soldier who desired the God of this Israel people, but didn't know a new window had been opened. And it was while he was fasting praying that God showed it to Peter and told him to go visit the house of Cornelius. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> the second encounter we see in the Bible of divine lifting is Zechariah, the father of John. This man had been faithful in the house of God, yet no child. Serving, yet no child. Doing all he can, yet no child. Zechariah did not know that he would have a divine encounter that would lead to a divine lifting. The angel of the Lord came into the temple where he was serving as a priest, doing his service, obeying the Lord. The Bible says Luke chapter 1 verse 6 and 7, that he and his wife, they were both righteous before God, walking in all the commandments, ordinances of the Lord, blameless, but they had no child because Elizabeth was barren and they were both well advanced in age. They, there was no chance. But the God who cannot lie, the God who does not fail, the God who does not disappoint, God visited them while he was busy burning incense, worshipping God as they did in the Old Testament. Even though this is the book of Acts, many of them had not crossed over into receiving Christ. And Christ has, just, has not been born at, at the time of, of Zechariah. It was still the era of the Old Testament, so it was burning incense. Suddenly an angel appeared to him and said, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. For your prayer is heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear a son. You shall call his name John. That was how Zechariah got his turn around, his lifting. I speak into somebody's life this morning. Your wife, your son, your wife is going to birth a miracle. Your life is going to birth a miracle. Your vision is going to birth a miracle. You're coming out of the valley of challenges, battles, disasters, needs, troubles. You are coming into seasons of testimony, of glory, of the outstretching of the hand of God. You are coming into a period where God will surprise you by opening the doors you never expected. You are coming into a season of divine lifting. There is a lifting coming. The devil can't stop it. He can't stand it. There is nothing he can do about it. Father, we give you glory. We give you praise. We magnify your name because you are God. You are not a liar. When you speak, you say what you want to do. Alama tolere maradi talari barano tomba ande shande bangom brenden dom brendan den dororebari dari. This morning we rejoice and worship before you because somebody on this altar is going to experience a divine lifting. We speak this morning that someone will experience a divine lifting wherever you are around the world. Get your bread and wine ready. After this morning's prophetic word, there will be communion. So get your bread and wine ready. There will be communion. God is going to heal you. God is going to deliver you. God is going to lift you. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus. Psalm 3 verse 3. But thou, O Lord, art a shield for me, my glory and the lifter up of mine head. That is a lifting. This morning, 
God will lift your head. He said, my glory and the lifter up of my head. Psalm 3 was written by David when attacks came. When people came to destroy him. He said, but you, O God, will lift my head. I will not be afraid of 10,000. 10,000 coming against me alone. You will lift my head. I prophesy on somebody this morning. There is a lifting coming. There is a lifting coming. Financial lifting, spiritual lifting, mental lifting, emotional lifting. There is an all-round lifting coming to your life. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Isaiah 29, 14, Therefore, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work among the people. Even a marvelous work and a wonder. For the wisdom of the wise men shall perish. Understanding of the prudent will, 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 be, will be hidden. But said, as for you, I will do a marvelous work. I prophesy on somebody this morning. God will do a marvelous work. There is a season, and the season is here. A season of lifting, a season of lifting, a season of lifting. In the mighty name of Jesus. There is a lifting coming. I prophesy on somebody. Financial lifting, spiritual lifting, mental lifting, physical lifting, emotional lifting. Your spirit lifted. David said, for thou, O Lord, art a shield for me. My glory, the lifter up of my head. Ah, the lifter up of my head. When men think you are going to be down, may the Lord lift you. Genesis 33, 9. And Esau said, I have enough, my brother. Keep that that thou hast unto thyself. Jacob took the blessing from the mouth of their father. Sailed away for 21 years. And now the day of reckoning came. He was to meet Esau. He expected the man to be broke. He didn't know that the little microcosm blessing. That the father spoke into his life. Had expanded Esau. This morning. Anyone having a, an expectation. That you will be down. That you will be limited. That you will be small. We cancel their expectation. We nullify it by the blood. We prophesy into your life. There is a lifting. There is a lifting. There is a lifting coming. There is a lifting coming. I'm speaking to your life today. I declare and decree today. There is a lifting coming. Thank you Jesus. Amen, amen, amen. Wherever you are, we're raising the platform of lifting. We want to first of all come against all the negative factors. All the negative factors that are working against your lifting. Wherever they are, whoever they are, whatever it is. We're coming against every negative factor working against your lifting. And God is going to lift you this morning. Malido shayida rido ne bro kandere bosha liboja in the name of Jesus there is going to be a lifting in your life nothing can stop it Ezekiel 19:19 19, 19, every wicked embargo that have been placed on you we are removing it this morning Ezekiel 19:9 9, every wicked embargo with hooks they dragged him into a cage and brought him before the king of Babylon. They held him in captivity so his voice could never again be heard on the mountain of Israel. Jesus. With hooks, they dragged him into a cage and brought him before the king of Babylon. They held him in captivity so that his voice could never again be heard 
on the mountains of Israel this morning everyone who is hearing me every wicked embargo to silence you to silence your destiny to silence your voice to silence your life Satan fighting you saying okay we'll hold her with hooks we'll put her in chain we'll stop his voice so that he will not be heard ah this morning we come against wicked embargoes we can wherever you are I want you to get ready this morning we're breaking wicked embargoes something wants to silence you so you won't have a testimony <laughs> I love the word the Lord gave yesterday at uh, Advine Church KICC I prophesied this morning 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 every hook put around you to drag you like a slave we break it we break the hook we break the hook we give you back your voice we give you back your voice we give you back your voice every attempt of hell to silence you we're going to the realm of the spirit we declare and decree we declare and decree we declare and decree we declare and decree you shall not be silenced you shall not be stopped you shall not be silenced you shall not be stopped in the name of Jesus I read that scripture again powerful man Ezekiel chapter 19 verse 9 with hooks they dragged him into a cage first of all they hooked him then they put him in a cage and then they brought him before the king of Babylon. Then they held him in captivity like, oh Jesus, like an animal in a cage. Like an animal in a cage. Animals in cage grow thinner. Animals in cage grow smaller. Animals in cage become like mentally unstable. Animals in cage because it's not their natural habitat. They never grow well. Animals in cage they have to be begging for food animals in cage they are never totally what they should be so his voice could never be heard on the mountains of Israel this morning Kappa, Yenosha, Itika, Ereba we break the chain we set you free every kind of limitation mental, physical, emotional, spiritual we break it today every kind of chain around you every kind of captivity Ah, David said the cage is broken and we are free this morning we set somebody free we set your marriage free we set your mind free we set your destiny free we release you from the grip the hold of darkness let there be freedom in the name of Jesus from this day there is a lifting I declare there is a lifting Alamosha Hiribadota Hirikedida Hiridodora Alabarodo Hiridadada Hiridida in the name of Jesus from this morning we declare to your life there is a lifting there is a lifting there is a lifting every cage in the place where you have been placed known and unknown we release you 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 cages of hell cages of darkness we release you we break you free in the name of Jesus Naya bakatalero yanambelendo rosa hilero boshetedida ikayara dedada habarodosha in the name of Jesus we bring you out of the cage 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 in the name of Jesus there is a lifting they did the same thing to Joseph trying to stop his destiny ah but his lifting came Psalm 105 verses 17 to 21 then he sent someone to Egypt ahead of them Joseph who was sold as slave they bruised his feet with fetters they placed his neck in an iron collar and you know if anybody thought Joseph walked into Egypt walking nicely cat walking they put an iron collar around his neck like a slave to be sold on 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 the on, on, uh, on a step on a on a stake where they auction until the time came to fulfill his dream the Lord tested Joseph's character then Pharaoh sent for him and set him free 
the ruler of the nation opened his prison door joseph was put in charge of all the king's household he became ruler of all the king's possession he could instruct the king's aides as he pleased and teach the king's advisors ayana terebo taredi shanaba hitosha hitala prakado tarabedi every restriction placed on your life by opinions of men i break it every restriction placed on only life by the opinion of men we break it every restriction placed on your destiny by the word of your own mother mother of jabez called him call him jabez pain every restriction placed on the people who should have, on you by people who should have blessed you we break the restriction we break the restriction the word spoken by a wrong teacher who said you never amount to anything you could you could never achieve you should just go and learn needle work for destiny for life we cancel by the blood this morning every chain put around your neck known and unknown seen and unseen every shackle we break this morning every hold that have kept you we break you free no more limits the man they brought in chains was to rule the whole of egypt egypt became one of the empires that ruled the whole world joseph people came from the far and near to buy food from him kapa tosha tedera parari tararo i speak into your life into your family into your children your grandchildren your great grandchildren every generation that comes from you the chain is broken the lifting is here the chain is broken the lifting is here in the name of jesus i declare today the chain is broken the lifting is here the chain is broken the lifting is here the chain is broken the lifting is here akabarosha ikabarata sako shokoyadi rika taledida ba rika pokoso ikia tarabo toroda kekura teroja dabaro tekezo thank you jesus they put chains around his neck i'd like to read that part again the bible says they bruised his feet with fetters Aish. they put iron around the feet of joseph and placed his neck in an iron collar until the time came to fulfill his dream to fulfill his destiny somebody is at the altar today the time has come to fulfill your calling your destiny no worries if you are 60 no worries if you are 50 no worries if you are 30 when the time came to fulfill his dream the zaman in hebrew is not regular chronos the chronology is not one o'clock two o'clock three o'clock zaman in hebrew and uh, keros in greek means appropriate time to that osha ah, somebody had been waiting 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 for years the season has come 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 the time has come in the name of jesus every embargo placed on your life every horrible limitation collar on your neck to stifle your voice and make you not to be able to go chains on your feet and hurt your leg with fetters have you seen those slave images i was in cape coast castle ah we should have said i don't we should have sent a photo over then to show you I, humans are wicked and they put people in tiny rooms and then they make you go through this door called the door the door of no return once you go past that door you're going straight to the ship that's what they did to joseph ah but the time came everyone who's hearing me today those who meant it for evil shall hear your testimony those who meant it for evil shall see your lifting ah people who are on this altar today what even you could not achieve your children will achieve 100 times your daughter will achieve 100 times your sons will achieve 100 times every horrible limitation that have been placed some you don't even know somebody have placed it in a paper they've written it this must not happen that must not happen she must not get this blessing okay write your right god will write his right <laughs> When they have written their own, then God will write his own. 
a naka dozu jeno mali na kusota makoto kabara no limitation no limitation no limitation the chain broke from joseph's feet the chain broke from joseph's neck ah the shackle broke the enemy came back again through the wife of his master to try to put the chains back by jailing him and putting him in a restricted place she didn't know it was a setup for a laptop it was a setup for a laptop it was a setup for a laptop every horrible limitation we break this morning we speak your victory in the name of jesus mayedido shandaya eka pokozoya mali boroza libro do shayadadi i declare to your life today that every satanic limitation is removed from your life psalm 18 we speak every limitation taken out of your life from today only testimony following you psalm 18 verse 3 to 7 every restriction satanic restriction restriction by men <laughs> hell put in restriction i called on the lord who is worthy to be praised and he saved me from my enemies the ropes of death entangled me the floods of destruction swept over me the grave wrapped its ropes around me death laid a trap in my path and in my distress i cried out to the lord yes i prayed to my god for help he heard me from his sanctuary my cry to him reached his ears the earth quaked and trembled foundations of mountains shook they quaked because of his anger smoke poured out of his nostrils fierce flames leaped from his mouth glowing coals blazed forth from him he opened the heavens he came down dark storm clouds were beneath his face mounted on a mighty angelic being he flew soaring on the wings of the wind ah this morning I declare and decree into your life every every rope of death entangled around you every flood of destruction meant to sweep you look at this passage it is so powerful it is so powerful rope of death flood of destruction the grave ah maya tosha hidara the trap everything was set for him Ah, he said in my distress I call to the Lord everyone who's hearing me this morning any satanic limitation that have been placed upon you we set you free we bring you out restrictions 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 kayado hidiya hidaka parato parati aya 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 anyone who has gone into the realm of the spirit to try to put a restriction on you today by the mantle of Jesus Christ upon my life i cancel those restrictions i cancel those restrictions i cancel those restrictions i nullify them in the name of Jesus i cancel those restrictions i nullify them i cancel those restrictions i nullify them i cancel those restrictions i nullify them if it is man that thinks he can put a restriction on your life ah lebo hisha hika tazo pato taka pato tisha pate tapa rota peka tosha peka tora pate rika riko tomra tisha prare toba teka pata i release you today in the name of jesus This morning also there are manifestations that keep being postponed keep being postponed they keep being postponed every manifestation of favor that was postponed we bring them forward we bring them forward we bring them forward we speak their manifestation we speak let it happen now let it happen now let it happen now we well, let it happen now let it happen now let it happen now nakushadia leri kabade daridida helikoroda heliridida arabarodora heliridida abarodora heliridada da e kushale de da e kiri da 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 e kororo no da e kara da bara in jesus name this morning we come against unlimited frustration 
Genesis 31 from verse 36 unlimited prostration ah nabai hidadi hidera 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 parosha hikaleba a prophesy your life every lim- every prostration that have been released out against your life we release you from it we release you from it in the name of Jesus. We release you from it in the name of Jesus. We release you from it in the name of Jesus. We release you from it in the name of Jesus. We release you from it in the name of Jesus. Ayada, Halaba, Hirada, Hunada. Ah! For 21 years, Jacob's father in law put unlimited frustration in his way. Kept paying him a bachelor's salary. <laughs> bachelor's salary for 21 years. Restricted him. If any animal was broken, he must pay for it. The man married. Had wife or wives around him. 11 sons, a daughter. The man was still paying him bachelor's salary until the day came for a lifting. Genesis 31, from verse 36, then Jacob became very angry and he challenged Laban, what's my crime? What have I done wrong to make you chase after me as though I was a criminal? You rummage through everything I own. Now show me what you found that belongs to you. Set it out here in front of us, before our relatives for all to see. Let them judge between us. For 20 years, I have been with you. Caring for your flocks. In all that time, your sheep, your goat never miscarried. In all those years. <laughs> this passage is reminding me of cases. And I just, I just wonder why sometimes we could be, we could, we could just think what we are doing is right. And in all those years, I never used a single ram of yours for food. If any were attacked and killed by wild animals, I never showed you the carcass. And asked you to reduce the count of your flock. No, I took the loss myself. You made me pay for every stolen animal, whether it was taken in broad daylight or in the day of or in the day of night. And dark of night. I walked for you through the scorching heat of the day and through cold and sleepless night. Yes, for twenty years I slept in your house. I walked for fourteen years earning your two daughters, and then six more years for your flock. And you change my wages ten times. In fact, if the God of my father had not been on my side, the God of Abraham and fearsome God of Isaac, you will have sent me away empty-handed. But God has seen your abuse and my hard work. That is why he appeared to you last night and rebuked you. This morning upon this altar, I feel fire in my spirit for everyone who has been cheated, underpaid, overused, mis- misused, hurt. God! will fight your fight. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. May God fight your fight. May God win your battle. When God lifts, no man can put down. A lifting is coming. 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 Divine lifting is coming your way. Divine lifting is coming to your house. Divine lifting is coming to your house. A lifting is coming. A lifting is coming. A lifting is coming. Man will not be able to stop you. Thank you, Jesus. Divine lifting is coming to your house. 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 Talaba, Toroda, Pereda, Teroda, Taradi, Tararo, Taradi, Kababa, Paroto, Taradi, Paradi, Tararo, Tarara, Aenosha. God will fight your fight. There is a lifting coming. There is a lifting coming. Tayudo shayada. Mokosokaribadaba. Areboko shetayadada. 
Abaroko sokaya ta 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 ta. Rako to ta 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 ta. Roka kapaka ta koto kota. Even in order for him to fail, this father-in-law was one who manipulated him into into polygamy. This father-in-law manipulated him for his own end use. Gave him the wrong wife and said, you want the other one? Walk another because I see anointing on you. Everything you touch is blessed. They manipulated him into a, a life of sinfulness and polygamy just because the man wanted to use him. Anyone who is using you, God will fight your fight. That will be a lifting. 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 In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. This one will come against battles on every side. Everywhere you turn is battle. You turn to the left is battle. You turn to the right is battle. Everywhere you turn is been battle, battle, battle. This morning I prophesy into your life. I declare into your life. The battle is over. The war is over. The battle is over. The war is over. Psalm 40 verse 1 and 2. I waited patiently for the Lord to help me. And he turned me and heard and, and he turned to me and heard my cry. He lifted me out of the pit of despair, out of the mud and the mire. He set my feet on solid rock and steadied me as I walk along. This morning, Kayo, Hidaba, Hidaba, Hirado, Hiraka, Tekosha, Hikaba, Rekoso, Makote, Tarindo, Tarinke, Paranto, Mekate, Protosha, Yakuza, Makate, Rotosha, Mekota, Rekota, Pakote, Kapate, Tarote, Makate, Abarosha, Ikayada Daba. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. This morning I declare to somebody's life that God takes on your battle, he wins. There is a lifting coming. There is a lifting coming. The devil can't stop it. Satan cannot stop your lifting. Satan cannot stop your lifting. The devil can't stop your lifting. We break you out of that hold. That thing that I've kept you in one place. We break the restriction. We break the hold. 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 Anyone who's hearing me this morning, you've been going through suffocating delays. Exodus, I mean Ezekiel 12. Suffocating delays. Ezekiel 12, 26. Suffocating delays. Ezekiel 12, from verse 26. Suffocating delays. Come out of delay. Come out of delay. Then his message came to me from the Lord. Son of man. The Lord. The people of Israel are saying. He's talking about a distant future. His vision won't come true for a long time. Long time. For a long, long time. Therefore tell them. This is what the sovereign law says. No more delay. I will do everything. Ah, This morning I declare. I will do everything I have threatened. Even though it was a threat. But I said no more delay. I will do I will, I will now do everything I have threatened. I, the sovereign Lord, have spoken. I speak into your life. No more delay. No more delay to your testimony. To the opening of doors. To the favor flowing. To the breakthrough beyond measure. To the silencing of hell. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. No more delays. There is a lifting coming. 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 I want to pray again one more time. For those people who have experienced injustice. And sometimes we, the body of Christ, do not know how to stand and speak truth. But thank God, when men keep silent, God will not keep silent. Everyone on this altar ah, that have experienced any form of injustice, somebody suppressing your lifting, anyone also knowing somebody 
who have been suppressed from lifting. Heaven fights for them. 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 There is a lifting coming. There is a lifting coming. When men have done theirs, there is a lifting coming in the name of jesus there is a lifting coming there is a lifting coming to your life. 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 In the name of Jesus. O Tayedasha. Kokaparito Zoya. Italerida Barasha. Every repeated disappointment will tear it down from today. Every embarrassing attacks, embarrassing attacks, ah, be free from today. Labarosha, there is a lifting coming. You will be lifted. God Himself will lift you. By His hand, He will lift you. Nothing will stop you in the name of Jesus. God will lift you in the name of Jesus. God will lift you. Nothing will be able to stop you. Satan will not be able to stop you in the name of Jesus. I want to close this morning on this powerful note. Wherever you are, say amen. As we get ready to partake the communion, say amen powerfully. Say amen powerfully. From this morning, we plead the blood of Jesus. Everything that has held you down so that there is no lifting, we cancel it by the blood. People don't rise in your family, but you will rise in the name of Jesus. Say amen powerfully. People don't rise in your family, but you will rise in the name of Jesus. Whenever people rise, they are cut down short suddenly. You shall not be cut short in the name of Jesus. You shall not be cut short in the name of Jesus. Nobody rises above a particular level in your family. A thousand times more than your fathers. Deuteronomy 111. A thousand times more than your father's house. Deuteronomy 111. Your lifting is surrounded by many enemies. From today we bring you out. Please say amen powerfully wherever you are. Your lifting is being limited dead and surrounded by enemies we bring you out in the name of jesus there's a terrible warfare whenever your lifting is in view ah we come against the warfare we come against the warfare we come against the warfare we silence satan's attacks in jesus name you have overstayed a certain level and you've been there for a long time. No progress from this day. I push you upward. 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 I push you upward in the name of Jesus. There's a uniform embargo in the family you come from. Everyone, same level, same story. Everyone, same level, same story. Today, I set you free. Ah, you know you are more than where you are now, but you have been held down there. From this day, I declare and decree into your life. Darosha, Yerosa, Kaboza, Hikalora, Hikorose, in the name of Jesus. You are functioning below your potential. From this morning, receive breakthrough. From this morning, receive favor. From this morning, receive testimony. From this morning, receive a lifting. 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 You are convinced 
that you have ability to cover more ground than where you are. Something is just keeping you in the hold, keeping you in a tiny place. Break out of limitation in the name of Jesus. There will be a lifting in your life. You are desperate for a change. And you are not seeing the change as you have connected to this altar by the oil of God on my life. I speak into your destiny today. I command a lifting. I command a lifting. I command a lifting in the name of Jesus. You want God to disgrace your lifting attackers. Those who are attacking your lifting, receive grace. Receive power. Receive grace. Receive power. Receive grace in the name of Jesus. You want your level of to change so as to move forward and go upward. Power of God touch you from today. In the name of Jesus. A terrible demoting dream always comes up just before your breakthrough and then it's over. You have this bad dream and then it's over. From this morning, we cancel those dreams. I lay hand on you this morning as we partake in this communion. There is a lifting coming. Embargo on your life is lifted. Limitations on your glory are lifted. Restrictions on your progress are removed. Evil stoppage on your advancement is cancelled. Every satanic prohibition, every satanic prohibition on your lifting is removed from today. Where you were nailed down, is it as Isaiah 22 verse 25, we set you free. Wherever you were held down, where you were nailed down, we set you free from today. Ah! There is an upward movement in your life in the name of Jesus. They went into the realm of the spirit. They put a sanction on you and said you are not to be lifted. We cancel it with the blood. We cancel it with the blood. Any ban on your rising is removed from this morning. <coughs> Any ban on your rising is removed from this morning. Kabato, Ishaka, Tarika, Baroto, Baregi, Tarada, Ireka, Ireba, Ikoro, Teriba. The Bible says they came in full force. So, Second Samuel chapter 5 from verse 17. And when they had heard that David had been anointed again king over Israel, they came in full force. Power! Every gathering against your lifting is scattered by the power of God. Irado Talada. Ikarada, libro shotayara, riko soname tali, kako shotayederi, ma ba loro digaza, jando bara lidedoso, rika bara didorosa, rika tala riderosha, kabo seri kari boruta lirama. No more rising and falling in your life, no more postponement of your manifestation. Any attack on your rising is scattered. Evil arrows directed at you. They fail for you. You will not stand still anymore. You are moving forward. There is a lifting. There is a blessing. Every problem that had been around shall no longer prolong. You go forward. You are blessed. You are lifted. In the name of Jesus. As we partake in the communion this morning. May you partake for victory, for favor, for testimony in the name of Jesus. May you partake for glory. May you partake for favor. May you partake for blessing. Everyone who's on the platform today receive healing, receive health, receive deliverance, receive favor. May you be blessed. May you be lifted. Father, bless the bread we partake. Bless the wine we take. Let it be for healing and deliverance. For joy, release testimony. Jesus' name. Amen. 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 You have partaken in the communion today. Satan's power to extend problems is broken. His power to prolong issues are broken. 
from this morning the power of the enemy is broken destiny robbers will have to release what is stole from you I declare to your life you will begin to walk in the miraculous your breakthroughs will not be aborted your healing will not be aborted good things will not pass you by favor will not pass you by negative dreams that have been affecting your lifting are removed bizarre struggles that don't make sense the struggle is over the favor is here instead of swimming in the ocean of poverty and embarrassment begin to swim in the ocean of blessing addiction to evil and sins and habits that are bad you are broken from them from today you are making progress again you are making progress psalm 66 verse 12 god is bringing you into a wealthy place god is bringing you into a wealthy place god is bringing you into a wealthy place so shall it be you will make progress you will prosper your favor is here in jesus name amen 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 <clears throat> from this morning go and be set free in the name of jesus couple of announcements we close with a powerful confession we had a great time yesterday morning, yesterday night at KRCC Divine Church in Thamesmead. It was such a blessing. It was such a great time. Healings, power of God. I love the word the Lord gave us. Loud testimony. So get ready for you to be the next to have the loud testimony. We prayed for people for healings. We prayed for into people who prophesied into their life. God gave a word in season. It was an awesome, 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 awesome time. We bless the Lord for the word he gave. We bless the Lord for stretching his hand. In the name of Jesus, the victory given shall be permanent. The testimonies shall be permanent. The deliverances shall be permanent. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. We believe God. That tonight. In Milton Kings. God will glorify his name. God will glorify his name. In Milton Kings. Make sure you join us. At KICC. The Courage Center. Milton Kings. We believe God. For power. For miracles, for healings, for deliverances, for testimonies, in the name of Jesus. Don't miss it by any chance. Join us also on Saturday at KICC Baselden. We believe God for great things to happen in Baselden, for blessings to flow, for grace to flow. For those of you who are around the world, make sure you connect and be blessed. Go to all the various platforms, Matthew Ashimolo, Dot Official, Facebook, Matthew A. Ashimolo, and then <clears throat> broadcasting on KRCC Online, and Instagram, Matthew Ashimolo, Dot Official. Make sure you join us. It will be a blessing. Praise God. We believe that this revival will stroke fire in the heart of the local congregation and God will work in their midst in Jesus' name. Join us 27th of October for Super Sunday. Make it a day of bringers. Bring friends. Bring friends. Be a bringer. 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 Bring people. And... Uh, and invite them, praise the Lord. Na ye to kota li baruzo re ba tila di da bo. Na balan tila ndolon de ba. In Jesus' name. Let's have a powerful time at Sunday 27th 
Also tomorrow, live and direct healings in the first service, in the second service, in the evening service. We will have a powerful time tomorrow. We will have a blessed time. I mean on Sunday. We'll have a powerful time, a blessed time in live class in the 11 a.m. service in the in the in the 6:30 in the 6 p.m. service. You'll be a blessing. <clears throat> Praise the Lord. Remember, November is full. 14 to 17, we have the Winning Women's Conference and Convention. It will be a blessing. Rooted is the theme. Don't miss it by any chance. The women are ready to bless us. Men are invited to be at the meeting. It's not strictly a woman's thing. It's the word. It's not a woman thing. It's a word thing. So make sure you are there. Come and receive what the Lord has for you. In the name of Jesus, come and receive what the Lord has for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, come and receive what the Lord has for you. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory to God. Glory to God. I believe that your life will never be the same. You will experience the grace of God, the blessings of the Lord, the favor of the Lord, the mercy of the Lord, the power of the Lord. So be there, be there, be there. Worship will be led during the women's meeting by, by Tosin Catherine, Diana Hamilton, and Lorraine Cato. Make sure you get to come. It will bless your life. If you live abroad, if you are connecting from around the world, don't miss the opportunity. Don't miss the blessing. Stay connected. Stay connected. Stay powerfully connected. Praise the Lord. Stay with us. There's still a confession on the favor of the Lord. Uh, tomorrow, I mean on Saturday, yes, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m., we have the Wealth Masterclass. It's a very, 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 very powerful subject. 100 power actions. Buy the future in wealth creation. Buy it. Build it. Bequeath it. Many people do not realize that the future, when it arrives, sometimes you don't even know. Tomorrow is one thing you never know when it arrives. You are always in today. When tomorrow morning breaks, you are in today. So you need to buy the future before the future comes. How do you buy the future? You need to do some things that are taking care of the future. In London Stock Exchange, New York Stock Exchange, all the stock exchanges around the world, they have what they call futures trading. That is taking care of the future before the future comes. You need to trade the future. You need to buy the future. You need to get into futures trading by taking care of tomorrow. We'll show you what to do, how to do it. Joseph bought the future. And because he bought the future, he saved the whole world. Save your family. Let your children, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren be able to send blessings to you for you buying the future for them. It's not the number of shoes that you are able to demonstrate. That's not buying the future. It's not the number of suits. That's not buying the future. It is the investments. It is the steps you take that secure tomorrow. Buy it. Build it. And then you can bequeath it to your family. If you don't bequeath properly, people fight. People argue. It's amazing. Same people who say they love each other. They fight over what they never worked for. Bequeath it. Be quitted. You'll be amazed how even old people try to fight for things belonging to their children. If the children were to pass before them, how much more younger people. It is going to be an interesting subject tomorrow. Join us, whatever you do. Let it really stretch your mind. Let it bless your life. The Ibadan Crusade is gathering momentum. We are looking forward to Christ's compassion to the Rural World Crusade in the town of Ibadan, Nigeria. 
We have a good contingent who are going from the United Kingdom. We believe God for an outpouring of God's grace. Ah, uh, we. <laughs> We're holding the workers' meeting on the 31st of October. We are expecting no less than between five and 10,000 who are serving as workers in the crusade. It's going to be a huge crusade. Just making announcements about pre, pre-surgery screening. Already the town is agog. The doctors are <laughs> slightly... Uh, beginning to be jittery that hey these six days might just be too much i want them i said two three days is enough to get 400 too many people are sick too many people wanting surgery issues all around town ah yeah 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 so monday 21st which is for this time they'll start the screening for those who will be whom surgery will be carried out on and they are getting overwhelming, overwhelming response. But ladies and gentlemen, the last two days of the crusade is medicals. Medicals. We want to be able to put medicine. We want to be able to line up 200 doctors, 150 to 200 pharmacists, 100 nurses to take care of the 100,000 that will show. We think it may be more. We are already ready for 30,000 children. We bought the medicine to deworm them. We are ready with a few medicines, but the thing is very you to die, but you will not die. Heal the sick. 150,000 packs of Gary. One... Uh, uh, 13 plus 25. We're 38 days to the crusade. And we're still trusting the Lord for the finances, for the medicine. He sent me, and he will not disappoint. So may I stir up your spirit that the 100,000 who will take care of in the medicals, that you'll be one of those who will make it happen. May the Lord bless you and prosper you at all times. May the favor of the Lord never, 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 never cease in your life. We want to touch these lives. We want to impact them. Then we'll have two days of, uh, yeah, these are the things we are giving. 150,000 packs of rice, 150,000 packs of beans, 150,000 packs of gari, 130,000 clothings. In fact, to make the rice up, I'm trying to get another 500 bags, which will be divided into 50, 50, 50, 50, which makes another 25,000. Still talking to a state government to sell to us at a little discount to make up the numbers we already announced. It's been quite daunting. But God is able. God is good. But the medicals is the one we don't want to disappoint the people at all, at all. Oh, we didn't mention there are 100,000 packs of noodles already. Praise the Lord. 2,500 Bibles by Pastor Matthew are ready. 10,000 books are ready. We'll be given the ministers. There are two days conference. We have not changed it from conference to school of ministry for the pastors. Without quality and number of speakers to speak to the pastors is a school of ministry. Even the School of Ministry itself is causing millions of Nigerian currency because we have to put together a tent separately that can sit 7,000 to 10,000 pastors. Pastors are traveling from five hours, seven hours, other cities to come. We believe in God for great things to happen, for God to glorify his name. We believe God that it will be amazing The testimony will hit the whole of the land in Jesus' name. So may the Lord prosper you. May the Lord increase. We want to say big, 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 big thank you to many of you who have responded. There has been quite a challenge with some of the banks, but I think it's been resolved now, and so you can try again. The challenge was about this time they chose to 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 move into a different kind of software package to handle the enormity of their banking systems. And that movement had meant 
is slowing down but things are ready so for those of you who have tried and couldn't get through try now we appreciate your response and your help and may the Lord continue to bless you and increase you in Jesus name praise the Lord we close this morning's morning glow I believe you were blessed we say favor into your life favor will take you from grass to grace Favor will bring you into uncommon contacts. Favor will prove divine assistance in your life. Favor will bring you divine benediction. I declare into your life, favor will bring you regard. Show you due consideration, divine assistance. Favor will bring you goodwill. Excessive kindness will be your portion. Favor will look for you. Will deliver you from afflictions will prevent you from drowning in misery. Favor will knock doors and open doors for you in the name of Jesus. By the favor of God, move to the next level. By the favor of God, be exalted, be delivered, be healed. Receive allowance without labor. Receive blessing without stress. God will change your locations and your allocations. You shall be broken free from oppression. The testimony of Jesus will be awesome in your life. So shall it be. May you be blessed all through this weekend. May your peace be great. May your rest be great. May your favor be great. May your blessings be great. In Jesus' name, amen. Not only do we see you tomorrow in uh, Wealth Masterclass, 9 a.m. and evening in Milton Keynes. Let's see you in the morning services. Come, let's lay hands on you. Don't just do remote services. Be on ground. Come and receive the blessing of the Lord. The Lord bless you richly today. Kodu Vubenis. Diosteben Diga. Diosteben Soe. Boana. Akubariki. Onyamishra. Yebariki. Yebarike. Mwariva kukombrere wa muzita ra yesu. Mkulunkulu wa gubusesi. Good morning. Saubo na kunjani. God bless you richly. May you be lifted at all times. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 God bless you. We'll see you tonight at Milton Keynes. It's going to be absolutely awesome. Thank you. Murakose. God bless.